with Real Mom Real Solutions. Welcome back to my channel. So I have two laundry hacks that I wanted to go over today that makes life so much easier. The first one being the wrinkle releaser that I showed in the little skit in the beginning. Um, this stuff is amazing. It really does work so easy and so fast. Uh, if you're really particular and you like those special creases and, and you know everything to be perfectly smooth, then yeah, you'll probably still want to use an iron. But especially when you have a lot of kids and you don't have time to iron everything, this stuff works like so wonderful. There's always those certain shirts or that certain material that is awful. No matter what you do, it's wrinkled. Um, I know I have a few of those shirts that I had gotten from the children's place. Pretty much all the dress shirts from that store is that type of material. When I first got them and I realized what kind of material it was, then I was about ready to toss them and you know get rid of them, throw them away, give them away, whatever. Um, but then I found this stuff and it was a game changer. The kids would come in ready for school or ready for church and they looked like a big wrinkled mess and you could sp spray their shirt down with this and in literally 30 seconds their shirt looked great. This is a pretty typical of what my child will look like when they come in and they say, hey mom, I'm ready for church and their shirt is wrinkled, it's buttoned up wrong, they're not wearing a belt, their hair's not combed, and it literally only takes like two minutes, maybe even one minute, to totally change the appearance of that kid. No one has an excuse of sending a kid to, to school or church looking terrible, although I still manage to do it sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you how the wrinkle releaser works on this extremely wrinkled shirt. So um, I, you can see how, how wrinkled it is, all you do is spray the stuff on it and kind of stretch it out. I have done this while it was on the kid as we're rushing out the door for school or church. So as you can see, the wrinkles are gone and I didn't have to touch the iron. Another laundry hack that I absolutely love are the color catchers. So these are um, like color catchers or color grabbers. There's different brands. And as far as I could tell, they all work the same. Um, I don't really have a preference. Uh, but if you have items, especially like, uh, I have a, a Betty's bedding set, that one side of it, the main side of it is navy blue, and the underside, the sheets, are a white minky material. Um, and when you wash them together normally, then the over time, the navy blue kind of bleeds onto the white and it ends up being more of a gray color, which is really annoying. But if you throw one of these in the wash with it, it will. this will come out blue and your material will stay white. I don't know how it works. It doesn't make sense to me, but it works. And especially if, if your kids are throwing all their clothes in the wash together, which my kids do that, um, then you can also teach them. You just throw one of these in there and it'll keep their white shirts white. And I'm not sponsored by these guys or by anyone in this video. This is just things that I have discovered or found that really work great and are lifesavers. Especially if you have a lot of kids and you just don't have time to iron things, you don't have time to make sure that everything is sorted perfectly. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and share with all of your friends that have wrinkled clothes or stingy clothes. And thank you for watching. Hey, so I did want to mention um, I know this video kind of made it look like we have tons of wrinkled clothes everywhere. And in my laundry video, I mentioned that the clothes don't really get wrinkled when you put them in the bins. So I just wanted to explain a little. Uh, first of all, when we was getting ready to do our little skit in the beginning, I had told all the kids, go get a wrinkled shirt. And I think every kid but one came back and said, I don't have any wrinkled shirts. So we actually had to wrinkle them. <laughs> We just got their shirts and we put the same uh, wrinkle release. I actually filled up a water bottle with the same stuff, but put the wrinkle release stuff on the shirts, just like if you was gonna straighten them. And then, but instead we wrinkled them up. So that's it. And then anyway, we let them sit for a little bit, got their shirts nice and wrinkled so that we could do the video. But that's not to say that we never have wrinkled shirts. So the boys dress shirts, do get wrinkled pretty easy because of that being that material. So they do come in Sunday morning ready for church um, with their shirt wrinkled and buttoned up wrong and you know looking like they do. 
And like I talked about in my last how to keep your room, your child's room easy to clean, um, if you don't go through their clothes and sort through the different seasons and the ones that are too small and keep their the quantity at the right amount, then their bins get overflowing, then their clothes do get wrinkled because there are so many in there and the bottom ones, it's heavy on top and so then they get wrinkled. Um, so in those cases, you end up with wrinkled shirts as well. But if you keep their clothes at the amount, the quantity that they're supposed to have um, and you go through and rotate them, uh, you know, at least twice a year and everything, then you don't have a problem. But honestly, whether you did the system that I do, whether they folded their clothes or not, they're going to end up wrinkled when they're overpacked no matter what. Um, another time that we do get wrinkled clothes is uh, there, there are times when I do mine and my husband's laundry and end up doing it at a bad time where I just don't have time to take care of it right then. I'll you know, throw it on the bed thinking I'm going to get to it right away and I don't. And then at the end of the day, I start putting them away and the shirts, some of his dress shirts will be on the bottom and end up being wrinkled. There was actually one time that I uh, was going through and I was folding our clothes and I hung up some of his dress shirts and, and he was sitting on the chair in the bedroom um, working on his computer and um, I didn't realize he was watching. <laughs> and I, I was folding his clothes and I hung up one of his dress shirts and I held it up and it was really wrinkled. And so I sprayed it with that stuff and I kind of shook it out and straightened it and, and it was all good. Um, and then I hung it up and I looked over at him and he was watching me and, and he's like, whoa, that stuff is pretty amazing. And he, and, you know, and I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? And then of course he's like, but wait a minute, why were my shirts wrinkled in the first place? Yeah, we didn't get to it right away. <laughs> but anyway, so there are times when we do get wrinkled shirts. It's really nice to have that stuff for backup. Okay, so I'll show you the shirt that we wrinkled up. So now you can see that it's all wrinkled. I'll do kind of a close up if that helps. Anyway, so, so we actually did that for those videos because we didn't have that many wrinkled shirts. Say bye, see ya, bye.